will leave me alone. Good lord. My father. Where's my wife? I don't know why. I know he cares about me. I took a We're looking for a tall man me. with a disfigured face. You know him? Huh? What? I fought in two wars, you know, son. I think I earned some peace and quiet. They're ah, the bum isn't here. Look at these people. We should follow the old lead. These guys can no, wait. No. Aw, so it was a complete waste of my time. Great. You know the way. You can drive. And where All exactly right. are we going? Let's go interview this guy. The, sh the sailor that showed up. Career to the temperature. It's a vintage filled driving. That's right. Um, some throwback for you. A throwback man. flavor. <laughs> Okay then. <clears throat> All right. AES to the temperature says Injustice 2 won best fighting game according to IGN. I enjoy the game, but it tells you a lot about the quality of fighters He's this year. Too. <laughs> Thanks. What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough, who looks like he's in trouble and knows it. Interview two. It's over here. Yep. No? Wait a minute. Interview two. Detectives huh. Phelps and Galloway. I didn't see him. We know why you're here, Jessup. So it would be best if you answered oh, our Jessup. questions truthfully. You're in trouble, Jessup. I don't want any trouble. That's why I'm here. <clears throat> I heard on the radio about this lady getting killed. I got leave from my CO to come down straight away. So why did you kill her? I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> Look, you need to believe me. Let's start at the beginning. All right. Will Snipe for Food. Just subscribe to the channel. Thank you for this sub, Will Snipe for Food. And Infinite 55 just did a 200-bit cheer. Thank you very much for the cheer, Infinite. You right. went to Baron's Bar. What time did you arrive? <clears throat> I got a 24-hour pass. I got there around 7. That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. Yeah, right. Look at this massive fidgeting. So you tried to make a woman who was incredibly drunk? Look, I'm not proud of myself, but I never hurt her. You took her dancing? That's right. Caught a cab to the Crystal Ballroom. Well, the cab driver told the truth. You had a fist fight with Richard Bates over Mrs. Terrelson. You met the guy? He's a creep. You should take a look at him for this. Look at him. Again, his eyeballs are all over the place. I don't know. No, it's not. His eyes really are. His eyes are looking straight. Now, now he's looking down. All right, bad cop. He's pointing the finger directly at you, Jessup. I only yeah. had one night before I was back in the tub. He had all the time in the world to look for some action. I belted him. I'd do it again. She was better off with me. Sure. You're a shining example of chivalry, Jessup. <laughs> Brits94 just did a 20-bit cheer and says, What's your favorite noir film? I recommend A Touch of Evil with Orson Welles. I've actually seen... Pretty much none. Um, yeah, that's like an era of film that I've not ver versed in at all. So maybe one day I will look into it, but I've barely seen any movies of that that genre. Maybe I should see if there's anything available on like Amazon or ne Amazon Prime Video or Netflix or something. I don't know. All right, movies prior. To Where did you go after the Blech. Crystal Ballroom? Uh, I think the wind had gone out of her sails by then. She caught a cab, and I caught a bus back to the base. Eh, nah, I think he's telling the truth. He's looking dead on. Well, now he's a little shifty in his eyes. Damn it. Hmm. What do you think? Shit. All right, I'm the bad cop. Got we him. spoke to the cab driver. Tell us what really happened at the Crystal Ballroom. I'd had enough. She was all upset about her husband bawling about her kids. She, she looked old. Left around closing, maybe 1.30. We got on a bus and she... Fell asleep on my shoulder. Nah. Which bus? An all-American, 249. I went past her place. She jumped off, and I stayed on it downtown. After that, I caught another bus to San Pedro. 
The Indiana's down there. She's being scrapped. And that was the last you saw of Teresa. Yeah, that's right. We didn't say much. I think she was kind of embarrassed. Well, it's all true so far. Flutter shined at a timid cheer and says, Would you do song requests on your fundraising stream? Have a certain amount for a song request. Uh, well, number one, I don't know how to do that. And number two, uh, I don't know how that would affect things on YouTube as well. Because I would probably want to at least record some of the matches and stuff I'm going to do on Saturday for YouTube. Now, I don't know how... I mean, YouTube won't allow any of that. So, I probably wouldn't be, be doing too much in song requests. Plus, if I'm trying to concentrate on gameplay, I probably don't want to hear songs playing. I'm just saying... The cab driver said that you were getting pretty familiar with Teresa. That's not how I'd put it. Whoa, look at that smirk. Look at that fucking smirk, dude. So the last thing you wanted was her playing hard to get. Did that make you mad, sailor? Yeah, it did. She knew what a guy's looking for. All broads do. All Dancing broads do. Second. And what happened at the crystal ballroom? Nothing. Not even a little hand relief. She had another couple of drinks. There was no fun left in her. Just poured her guts out to some bartender. We're holding you till we can clear this with the driver. Yeah, my CO said as much. Can you put the guy in two in a cell and inform the commander? Sure, detective. So I guess now we're gonna look Got into the bus. For you. Sighting of your disfigured hobo on Grand between Temple and Sunset. And it looks like the bow has a record too. He's wanted in connection with two female assaults. Thanks. It could be him. What it could now? be very simple. She got off the bus and some hobo killed her. Locker? Let's see if the bus story checks out. There's a depot at 1660 Beverly Boulevard. Bus depot. You're behind the wheel. Bye. Right. Bus we depot. DMJ asks, is it my goal to not use intuition the whole game? Well, I haven't, need, I haven't needed it once ever. Three suspects. I couldn't find a clue, so. There's still no hard evidence on any of them. KGPL to car 11K. 11K. Oh, what now? 11K, go ahead. Okay. 11K, roger that. Plenty of time to get downtown, Paul. It's possible. Have them bring him in. KTPL, we have Lars Carrollson picked up. 11K, roger. So we've got more information on Bobby Ross, and they're saying it could have, it could have been the husband. The husband is the suspect again. His alibi division didn't check out. Okay. See you later to Horror Duck and to Derek. We'll both have to leave. See you guys later. Wow, make a dash says, I hope the sailor's the murderer. I just don't like him. That's messed up. I hope he's the murderer. Come on. Why is it perpetual night in LA, by the way? What the hell's going on? It's like 30 days of night. <laughs> no sun at all. <clears throat> and thank you, ma'am. You have a safe trip now. Where are you boys headed today? The fuck is on your head? What is LAPD. It? We're after the driver of All-American 249. Would have been around midnight onwards last night. Uh, just a minute. Frank Zeffirelli. He's your man. Oh, he's Where dead. can we find him? Frank is out on the 7-4. Can you tell us the route? <clears throat> Hang on. Uh, I should have it mapped out here somewhere. Here it is. I found the map right here. Conveniently right in my pocket. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I'll need to run the loop. Uh, we're not going to drive the whole thing, are we? Won't take long. We have a siren. The... We're going to drive the bus loop. 
Okay. <clears throat>